Coming up on today's AFL Today Midweek Madness Show, we're breaking down all the rule changes the AFL wants to implement. What yeah. the hell? Come on, man. Hey, Alex, what's your favourite part from today's show that also features Eliza Riley from Code Sports talking the West Coast Eagles and Fremantle Dockers? When Eliza Riley slaps down Stats Guy. It's not hard to do. Stats Boy, what's your favourite part? Nah, it was great, great interview. Uh, just Harley Reid versus George Wardlaw, if the rising star had Harley Reid in it. Bit of an interesting one. Very cool. We are talking midweek winners and losers. We're talking the Hall of Fame. We're talking yeah, Nas. We're talking, you know, the rising star race. It's all going on. It's all in the AFL Today show right now. Anyway, over to the Dockers. Uh... Can you convince us that Freo yeah. aren't frauds, Eliza? <laughs> what are we doing here? I mean, they Roller smash coaster. Melbourne oh. and then they come over here and get smashed by the dogs. It it does my head in. It says and something about Melbourne, doesn't it? It does. It does also say something about Freo, obviously. Hmm. So I don't know. Can you convince us they're not the Fremantle frauds? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Flag Mantle? We're changing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a couple now, weeks ago. Yeah. Suddenly it's Fraud Mantle. What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> um, I think what happened on the weekend against the Western Bulldogs is the Dockers completely lost sight of their identity. Mm. Like we know <clears throat> as frustrating as they can be to watch at times this year, their best football and their best wins have come when they're that really dour sort of defensive team who are conceding low scores and, you know, their sort of ball movement and attacking opportunities stem from that and it's sort of, you know, put two pieces of the puzzle together and then the third falls into place naturally. So I think they got lulled into a bit of a false sense of security with what happened against Melbourne and just how easy it was for them to, to pile on scores and, you know, what was it? They kicked 141 points. Yeah, but very rare for Freo. Fremantle, yeah. like, doing that. So I think they got maybe a little bit ahead of themselves thought, you know, we can play this sort of shootout style of footy and, you know, pile on the scores and it's just not going to work against the better teams in the competition. Like they are a defensive team and they strayed away from that. So if they can get back to that sort of, you know, contest defensive method, you know, I think they can be be there, thereabouts in the race to the top eight. But for me, I still going to take a bit of convincing. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>